Hi there, this is Kimberly Munoz, Instructional Technologist with Franklin ISD in Texas. Today's problem is focusing on what is a hands-on activity to teach your students digital citizenship? How do you get started? We're going to solve this problem in three minutes. So, in order to get started with teaching digital citizenship in your classroom, I think that it's great for your students to use something that they've created, such as a photo that they snapped or a drawing that they have created themselves that is now digital. You take that image and you put it into this website called PickMonkey.com and you put a copyright symbol on that image. This is a great way to introduce your students to digital citizenship and copyright laws and it opens up a great discussion. So let's take a look at PickMonkey.com. This website can be used for so many different things and depending on the time of year that you visit PickMonkey.com, you'll see different pictures showing here at the bottom. In order to get started, you want to basically hover your mouse over each section so that you can see what each one does. This is the edit section that we'll be using today, but they also have a touch-up, a design section, and a collage section. It can be used for so many different things in your classroom and also for personal use. So let's go ahead and get started with editing. So basically when I click on edit, it's going to take me out to my computer in order to find the picture that I want to edit. Or I could simply click and drag it over to the screen. So this is a picture that I personally took myself and I want to be able to copyright this picture so that when I put it on the internet, other people will know who the copyright belongs to. Again, this opens up a great discussion with your class. In order to do this, all you have to do is go down the list of all these icons here on the left hand side. You're looking for the overlays section, which is also symbolized by a butterfly. Whenever you get to this section, you're going to scroll through some of the area and see all the different things that they offer, but there's a symbols box that you're going to click on and there's the copyright symbol that we want. So we're going to click and drag it over to our picture. Notice that it's pretty large, so we're going to just shrink it down by clicking that little handle. And we can also change the color of that copyright symbol in order for it to stand out more. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to add our name next to that copyright symbol. So we're going to click text, which is the T. And once the uh, text box comes up, we're simply going to click add text. We're going to click inside the text box and we're going to type our name. And then we're going to click off and click back on it and drag it down here next to that copyright symbol and resize so that it fits next to the copyright symbol. Now again, we can also change the color just by simply clicking around or we can take um, our little eyedropper there, click inside this box, and then we can go down to the copyright symbol and match that exact color that we had the copyright symbol placed in. So that is how simple it is to copyright a photo or some type of digital image that you've created in your classroom. Now all you do is teach the students to save it and have a great discussion about what copywriting an image can do and how it shows digital citizenship. 